they've been popping up left and right in recent years, and it makes us rethink how we approach an intersection. I'm talking about roundabouts. Roundabouts are probably one of our safest solutions for a four-way or a three-way intersection that has a crash problem. They're safer for the motoring public, safer for pedestrians, and the traffic flow is greatly improved over a typical four-way stop or signal. Engineers have proven their effectiveness, but controversy around these traffic circles continues. I think the biggest fear for people um, initially is, am I going the right way? And then if I'm in the roundabout, is someone gonna blow through and, and hit me? Cloquet resident Corrine Gornikeen lives down the road from the Highway 33 and I-35 intersection. I would regularly see accidents. MnDOT traffic engineer Jim Miles says in 2021, almost 43,000 people died on U.S. roadways. And with the number that high, expert engineers around the country started making changes. Roundabouts actually have about an 80% decrease in fatal and serious injury crashes when compared to a signalized intersection. You cannot have a head-on collision in a roundabout unless somebody really did something dumb and, you know, went the opposite way or turned in the opposite direction. Maury Luke works with the U.S. Department of Transportation and says there's a national approach, what they call safe system objectives. Safer people, roads, vehicles, speeds, and post-crash care. On the list of safe system improvements, more roundabouts. If you were to get in a crash at a roundabout, it's a glancing blow, which is a much less severe crash than at a traditional four-way intersection where our severe crashes are right angle crashes. It's nearly impossible to get into a T-bone crash at a roundabout. Numbers from the Minnesota Department of Transportation show an 86% decrease in fatal crashes, an 83% decrease in life altering crashes, and a 42% decrease in the overall crash rate at intersections. Since the early 90s, there have been no documented pedestrian fatalities within a marked crosswalk at a roundabout. I, I think that speaks volumes. The first Minnesota roundabout was constructed in Brooklyn Park near Minneapolis in 1995. And soon after, in 2002, the Northland was introduced to its first roundabout. We now have roundabouts in District 1 at uh, several locations within the district in Cloquet, Moose Lake, Chisholm, and Hibbing. I think they've done wonders for the flow of traffic. The intersection where I-35 and Highway 33 merge in Cloquet near Corrine's house is one of the examples that proves engineers' theories that roundabouts work. I saw a number of years ago some high school kids absolutely get T-boned um, trying to merge onto 35 North and cross the off-ramp from 35 South and they got just T-boned and um, I saw several rough accidents there. I'm, that's all gone. Prior to building the roundabout in 2018, we were averaging one injury or crash every five months. Since this installation in November 2018, MnDOT has only reported one crash here. The difference was with that crash, the people in that crash were able to go to their loved ones that evening. As people, we fear the unknown, and though roundabouts have been present for many years now, the concept can still be confusing and scary if you're not used to it. The best way to learn? Just do it. I think what stresses me out about roundabouts is just the fact that you don't know what other people are gonna do. I know, I always wonder if I should use my blinker or not. When I was talking with MnDOT, they said that- there, there is no law on using your blinker to enter or exit a roundabout. It's a personal preference. Oh, okay. 
Slow down when approaching. We have done that. Check. All right, check. Yield to pedestrians. No current pedestrians. Yield to vehicles already in roundabout. All right, we just did that, okay. so I'm gonna go through. Continue through roundabout until your exit. Do not stop or pass. All right, successful. Look at that. Traffic circles are not going anywhere, so whether you've been driving roundabouts your entire life or are new to the game, be patient and confident, look to your left, and go. For WDIO News, I'm Naya Adams.